Instagram. Bitcoin. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Did it crash? Litecoin. We're going to be trading. I got two trader geniuses here. <laughs> William's been trading since he was 11. He built the crypto trading desk for science, a huge company. Ben needs no introduction, but we will give him one. He's a crypto, he's more of an investment banker, but of course now everybody's in crypto <laughs> because that's the place to be. And uh, so he's a financial hacker, <laughs> hacker financial genius savant. And so we did We did a video, what, a couple days, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday that, that went viral and is trending about, <laughs> you know, is Bitcoin gonna go down? And what, what happened? What did you predict? I said the bulls come back tomorrow and the bulls came back And the today. bulls back today. <laughs> so people were going, I need my Jim Cramer sign or a little bell, bing, whatever. <laughs> but we're gonna show you how to take <laughs> profits. Now, I just wanna do a quick disclaimer because some people are idiotic and think that they can never lose money. Just a disclaimer, before we show you some trades, I put a thousand bucks just as a sample into a GDAX account. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to, well, they're gonna show you how to analyze this stuff. We'll be looking at some of the candle stuff. And, but I just wanna say, don't put any money into crypto or into anything in life that you can't afford to lose because these markets move up and down, and especially if you're an amateur, that might happen. You might get an alarm go off. <laughs> no, but if you're an amateur, especially, you might freak out and sell when it's, you know, you might buy high, sell low. So don't don't take this as this is not a guarantee of making money. But for those of you who just want to see what we're doing, we're just that's what this live is about. I'm just gonna show you. So let's get into it. Let's show what do we want to start with? We were gonna we put half of our money into BTC. We took a thousand bucks sample. That's profit from basically listening to Ben yesterday. By the way, Ben, did you predict what a week before it happened that Bitcoin would hit twelve thousand? I think predicted on the sixteenth that Bitcoin would hit twelve thousand on the twenty second. I told it to a small group of people. Uh, he had a huge party because the they bet him. <laughs> we did have a party last night. Yes, it was the Bitcoin dip party. Uh, it was wonderful. It's fantastic. And you called it. Now, you know, it's a little bit of luck whenever you call it exactly right. But hey. It's skill too. But it's also just knowing the dip is coming. Yeah. And yeah. just being aware. Right. Absolutely. So let's look. Let's just say somebody, let's just, this is just me. We're not talking about you. We're talking about me, but I'm going to share it with me. So let's say a thousand bucks I put in here uh, will profit from yesterday in Bitcoin. We want to look. Litecoin. What are we thinking on the chart? Let's talk about it. All right. So um, Litecoin obviously had a huge rally um, over the past you know, week, week and a half. So now it's kind of corrected net below 300 bucks. It's in the Bitcoin price. Uh, and uh, why don't we go ahead and chat, Ty, let's pull this, this chart up. Uh, let's, pull, let's pull up a chart from, uh, you know, let's, let's see a little more, let's see the past week. Uh, let's go to an hour, one yeah. hour, or one day, one hour, let's do one hour. One day will take too much. Yep, one hour. All right, go to one day. Yep. Let's go to one day here. Okay. GDAX, we can see back. All the way. Yeah. All right. So let's point here so everybody can see. Yeah. What do you see? So this is kind of when it took off, right? December seventh. Yeah, and it rallied all the way up here, came back down, and it's now kind of consolidated right here. So I'd definitely be a buy on on, on Litecoin. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you to buy anything. We're just talking about for me. This what is just you. I would do what I would do. I, if it was me right now, I would buy Litecoin. Yeah. So you buy Litecoin. Let's talk about it right here. <laughs> What do you see here? There's two walls. Okay, um, so right now it's pretty flat. Like uh, the Litecoin is kind of this consolidated. There's not a big s spread here. There's a huge. Look at this. Yeah. yeah. I mean, these are your, this nice your support wall. wall. That's a nice buy yeah, wall. wall right there. It might so, be worth buying right now. I mean, I I, I would buy it anyway just because the price. <laughs> Clearly, there's other people buying Litecoin right now. The volume is not really that high right now, but I think it will. Um, Will be and this is also the Bitcoin trading here, not the USD trading pad. So the yeah, this is the USD. Yeah, this is the USD. Should I show? This should be USD. Should Let's be show it in USD, just so you guys can see yeah. there. You can see. So it's not kind of just consolidated. I'm sure that it's affected. Activity starting to come in. You can see the the bots in here. I saw a point. point There's a lot of algorithmic trading going on. Do people need to be concerned about that? Um, I think you just need to learn how to work around the bots. They're going to be there. The bots here Attacking the machine. are at like point zero. <laughs> so they're buying the teeniest amount. Yeah. Litecoin's at 277 right now. Yeah. Let's take some comments. Someone said, damn, I'm late. I <laughs> know you're not. Someone said, <laughs> where do I see the red? Oh, this, I'm looking on the long, long mouse. 
Can we pull up, um, we got YouTube on here. Which other ones can we pull up on here? There's Facebook, Twitter. Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, how do we get this better? What software is that, Brandon Clark? We're on GDAX. Yeah. So if you have a Coinbase account, this comes automatically, basically with it, your login. A lot of people don't know that. And you can move your money from um, Coinbase. If you got cash, you can move it over here or whatever. That's yeah. kind of what we did to do that little sample thing. We were using um, Binance earlier today to do some more advanced trading stuff. Because you don't yeah. see that much stuff. Good. Okay, when you said the chart's looking good, what's looking good? It's consolidating. So as you can see, it's kind of just, you know, it's taking a little ride over the past week and a half. Let's switch to, you like 15 minutes. Yeah. Let's look at 15 minutes right here. Oh yeah. So okay. here we go. What do you see? It's a no-brainer, my friend. It's it a fell no off the shelf. Um, I mean, there's, since we're not looking at uh, all the price action, right? we're only looking at it since 4 a.m. We can't see the last time it reached the bottom. So let's go to, let's go to 30 minutes or let's go to an hour. We're at an hour. All right, Boom. so now look here, right? If you come back down to the bottom of this candlestick right here. So the bottom of this candlestick was at 252, 252. and it's at 275. So, so I buy a little here and maybe put some buy orders at 252. Okay, so let's do that. So we're gonna put a limit order. Right? Yeah. Limit buy. And what do we want to do it at? Um, so we want to do that um, at 252. Let's do that. Let's put a limit buy at 252 because it, that's where I think it could come to. All right. I'm going to let you because I want to point. Yeah. You run the mouse because I want to kind of point for people. Oh, we need to, hold on. We need to shrink this a little bit because it's not, you guys can't see it all on this monitor. Give me a second here. Does that all show up now? Huh. Can you change the, uh, that didn't help. I think it's the, let me change the monitor a little bit. Or do the, you're talking about minimizing the browser, right? No, because it's cutting off. You so can't, they can't see this. Hold on one second, guys. Hang with me. We, you can change the, you got to change the, um, oh, so dimensions. Yeah. Oh, there, there, there. No, this is fine. They don't need to see all that on the side. Okay. So, uh, what you just zoomed into it again. Yeah. You pulled it up yeah, to the top know. of the screen because it's windows. And it just yeah. clicked into place. There, now, now you guys can see it. Okay, is that showing, is that visible in here? Should it's be. in frame. Okay, so go ahead and <clears throat> grab the mouse. Right. You can use the, you can use that uh, one. So let's do it. So, you're just gonna do a market order? Just no, get to look for a 1.47, so I'll put a limit order. So 1.47, Litecoin. Uh, 250, let's see 253. 253, he's getting this. These candles here represent kind of peaks and valleys for those of you who don't know what we're doing. Someone said Bitcoin will hit 10,000 to 12,000, I promise you, and when it does. It did it, it hit it yesterday. That's a Perota, James Perota. James Perota, you're, James, you're a couple days late. You're a couple days late. <laughs> well, thank you for your insight. Yeah. Ty actually <laughs> made a lot, good amount of money last night. We made money yesterday. <laughs> thank you, buddy. Yeah. Uh, someone look at this, Sean said, Ty, do a video of some over-the-shoulder trading with William. Yeah. We got a new thing coming out. So, by the way, we were just recording it for all of you in the Bitcoin uh, crypto mastermind, the mentorship that I'm sharing with other people. I'm getting the top mentors training me, and then I'm sharing this. Uh, we just recorded a lesson. So for those of you in the paid program, oops. Okay, so back here. Um, we got it. Boom. So we got our order. You can see right here, it's an open order at 253. We'll see if it gets filled. I don't know if it'll come down that far. We'll see if we get lucky. Yeah. We're, being, <laughs> we're being a tad bit greedy here. We're yeah. going, we want this thing to drop. <laughs> but if you look here, what do we do? 252. Ooh. We're low, dude. Like, that that might be too low. We might need to, yeah. you think we should kill this? We kill can this kill it and go do a market buy if you want. It might start going up. I mean, hey, that's a, dude, you're already in the money. So that's just a nice shot in the dog. See if you can make more. Yeah, it's <laughs> You've already been in this one. Yeah, we you can do another. You can do another one. I mean, we can do another one. What would you say is the minimum you want to pay? What did you want him to fill? Because uh, right here, it's put, put it at two seventy five. Two seventy. So let's just cancel right here. What about right there? Two seven. Oh, that's where we're at right now. We're moving around. So you think two seventy five? So that's the next wall. You see these walls right here? So yeah, let's kill that one and do it at two seventy five. So we got our, we canceled that order. You can see, canceled, now we got this. For those of you listening on audio, uh, this is also a good one to watch a video. Someone said, what's the name of the software? 
That's GDAX. GDAX. <laughs> it's not really. I mean, it is software. This is a browser-based exchange. It's not like a software. Ty, you're the man, bro. It's coming down to the Someone, Craig says. We're almost Are they accepting orders again? What are you talking about? We're about to head at GDAX. Okay, we're going. Order fill. Order fill. Boom. You can see it. It should show it. Yeah. It should have filled. Oh, it didn't fill? It'll fill. We'll see if it fills. So we're trying to, by the way, last 2501. We're a penny away. We filled. We filled. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're uh, we're almost there. So for those of you, we could keep coming down now. Like we could get our. It failed. Yeah, but we could get our 252 price. We'll, we'll yeah. double down and buy the trust. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't it fill? Yeah, it filled. It filled oh, right here. Yeah, Seconds so ago, it filled. Yeah, and it might keep going down here into this yeah. bottom of this candlestick, and the next stop will be the bottom of this candlestick. So the bottom of which <laughs> candlestick are you looking at? This one. So right here. Yeah, what was that yeah, at? 252. 25204. Yeah. So should we put in a another order for Should take? we try to? Yeah, yeah, good. By the way, this is for Litecoin. The, the, the Bitcoin LCC chart. Yeah. Because the rest of ours is in Bitcoin. So let's do that. So we're gonna we have to switch because the rest is in Bitcoin already. So let's just do a market plan right here. So deal Alberto it. said, what's going on? I don't understand. We're showing some of you want to learn how to trade. This is trading. Now, oh, let's just solve the Bitcoin and do it in USD. How much is enough money to it? invest? Ben, what's your opinion on that? Uh, well, the cool thing about these lose. assets is that, well, first of all, yes, as much as you can afford. As much as you can afford, 100 bucks you can start with. The cool thing about these assets is that they're completely fungible. You can buy 0. 0.00001 Bitcoin. You don't yes, have to buy they're all Bitcoin. fractionalized. They, they, Bitcoin was built by an intelligent person. No one knows who he was, but... But it was well thought out. The difference between limited market buy, Jared Vincent asks on Facebook. Market buy, you basically you're gonna get it. Yeah, you're gonna get it right away. You're gonna, you're gonna get, get right higher right. fees, and you're gonna get it. You might uh, not get it the they lowest choose. price. Yeah. <laughs> price they choose. Market means you just give it to me. I need it now. Yeah. They're gonna fill it with whatever it's bouncing around to. Limit is where you say, hey, limit. I will pay this much. Yeah, like so. If you say two seventy five, like we put in, and it go, it's two seventy six. It's too high. You don't want it. You limit it. So I only want to buy when it's low. Remember one thing. What you want to do here, and you see the green and the red, when you look at this, this represents ideally people trying to buy low. So a whole bunch of people are willing to buy right here, right? Right yeah, at 270. 270. So it's at 274. And this, of course, a whole bunch of people, you see a wall there at what, 280? Yeah, they're willing to sell at 280. A lot of people will sell at 280. So it's kind of bouncing between 270 and 280. And you can see that if you look here at the hourly stuff, what's it been bouncing between? Uh, it's been hanging out right there. Like, look, it's at a pretty wild range. Damn, yeah. it went to one night. Yeah, like things were getting crushed yesterday, Woo. I still remember. If you, were up, if you were up at 6 a.m., you could have bought Litecoin at one, the very bottom, at six in the morning was one, holy shit. Yeah. So you could have bought at 144, it's it's not quite one double. Guy, one you could have doubled guy. your money. You yeah. basically could have doubled your money today. <laughs> now, let me, one more disclaimer for all the idiots out there that are gonna go, Ty said I could double my money. No, I didn't. He did not. I did not. This is hindsight. Hindsight is always 2020. I'm just saying, the guy who bought at the bottom, you know, like this dude. Congratulations, congratulations. Whoever this is. Shot. Yeah, unless you did something Wait, stupid. Wait, is this at 143? Yeah, 143.20. Yeah, someone, someone had an order waiting there, just like you have one waiting. So you, you some people can put it. Do you recommend people just throwing some yeah. crazy? Yeah, crazy. Like, like, you can do it right now for you. Let's, Let's do it. Let's buy a Litecoin at 100 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> and you just wait for that yeah. thing to sit there. <laughs> So we did it. We set up one light point, which is currently 275. We said if this thing ever goes to 100, if it ever goes to 100, I'll take it off your hand. That's why Bitcoin. So let's talk about the philosophy. Buy another one for 140 for you. So maybe you can get the same thing, right? Yeah. Let's try to fuck that guy that yeah. got it for 140 yeah. and I didn't get it for 140. Yeah. <laughs> but one of the things I want you to realize is that we're showing this, even if you can't see every little thing on the screen and you're a little bit confused. You need to understand that the reason a lot of smart people, and I personally don't think Bitcoin will go to zero, is there's somebody waiting to buy it here. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. if, if Bitcoin, which is currently, let's say, it's been between 50, well, it's been between 12 and 20,000 recently. Yeah. If it goes to 4,000, which is still a gain, because yeah. it was at 801 at the beginning of this year. Yeah. Do you know how many people will buy it at 4,000? I don't think you can make it to 4,000. This chart will be. You know how many people have orders waiting like you like right yeah, now? Yeah, waiting, waiting, <laughs> waiting. This thing will waiting. not go to zero. No way. By the way, this is the stuff they should have taught us in the bullshit school system. True. Not one class ever was a screen like this with two smart people like Ben and William. It could, they could be stream, streamed in, so if you live in a small town. Not one damn class. So... Half of America's broke, or more. Half the world's broke. Well, what happens when you don't teach somebody ever how to play basketball? They can't play basketball. Yeah. It's not because there's anything wrong with you. Because if you don't learn, you don't get good. So people can't make money in the modern world because they don't even understand the fundamentals. This is the economy. Forget cryptocurrency. This is similar to how the stock market works. Yeah. If you could, even housing market, which is not on an exchange like this, but if, and maybe blockchain will put real estate on an exchange and eventually fractionalize up. Blockchain has the ability to fractionalize things like your house. Eventually, your house Facebook will be Facebook just on crashed. Here. And people will be going, oh, guy, that house in Compton is is selling at a value of $100,000, but the rent yeah. could be, you know, five, I'll buy it now. And people around the world, it'll be a crazy world when that's happening. That's agent. <laughs> yeah, you're a title agent. <laughs> you go back to college, that's yeah. what I said. Title. We're resetting Facebook. It just crashed. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah. Okay. I screenshotted it, too. That's fine. See we what happened. We got a shitload of people on Facebook. We had our Facebook crash. I wonder if we got too many people on it. I still see it, though. It's it says really it's been paused. It. It'll be resumed shortly. Okay. <laughs> we broke the internet. Just we may have broke it. <laughs> I broke the internet. I think the last person to do that was Kim Kardashian. So I think you must be pretty good looking, Ty. No, it's you. Is it me? We got pretty boy William here. <laughs> Thank you. Guys. Thank you. That That's what he calls himself. All the ladies come on to oh, see yeah. the trade. <laughs> Hello, ladies. DJ Quick. Bitcoin will be dead soon. No. DJ, <laughs> DJ Quick. Please go post that on every social media feed you have, DJ Quick. Yeah. <laughs> That's Somebody great. say, traveling sales on Twitter said, do not invest unless you have speculative capital. Many smart people don't see the value. <laughs> that guy's exactly right. Don't invest unless you have speculative capital. Don't invest yes. anything that you can't afford to lose. Everybody, here's my opinion. Everybody in the world, 99% yeah. of people have 20 bucks. You can do 20 bucks here. I think yeah. you can do 20 bucks. Yeah, go absolutely. try to buy a. You can uh, buy it with a point six. A share of Apple for twenty bucks. Right? I'm saying, can you put twenty bucks into but, Coinbase? Oh yeah, but do they have minimums. I don't know. No, no, no. You can That's buy 20, 30, 30, yeah. Yeah. twenty bucks. You can start learning with twenty bucks. At least about one dollar worth of Litecoin. One dollars worth of Litecoin. <laughs> you see, this is of the utmost importance for you to learn. Yeah. Okay, uh, Urban Team, stocks on Wall Street investing in Bitcoin. That's your area. What do you think? They're getting in. They're, coming. Uh, They're getting in slowly. Um, but you can you? always bet that if Goldman Sachs is talking about setting up a desk, they had a desk six months ago somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, they're doing it to create more value in the things that they already hold and own. Yeah, and I, I can tell so you. So, do you, you think it's a good thing or a bad thing? I like them. It's going to help stabilize, stabilize the, market. the market. Legitimate players. A lot of, there's a lot of people who are illegitimate players right now. Like, I'm not going to name any names, but I know quite a few people. Quite a few people have made quite a lot of money off of Ether just investing in it early, and they think they're an investor, so they try and open a hedge fund. Uh, they don't know anything about managing money, and they're putting their investors at risk. People so, say they can hear you whispering, Sam and Adrian. Gotcha. <laughs> so, so that, that, you know what I mean? There's a lot of players like that. So I'm happy to get real Wall Street players in the game. Bring them on because they're legitimate. They know how to manage money. They're going to keep their investors safe. And we're not going to have to worry about issues like a 27 And more, kid, it's it's more volume, money. more trading volume. Yeah. Because yeah. look, the problem right now is that we have too many people who just have a buy and hold strategy because they have yeah. such a low purchase price. Yep. That they're like, why ever trade? Yep. Everything's going to even out and everything's going to go up. And uh, Wall Street's going to have capital and they're going to trade it. And that's going to be a little bit different than what we have right now. Yeah. Increased vol volume means decreased volatility. It yep. means that these assets become safer and more people will put more money in. Yes, absolutely. For those of you, by the way, listening, I'm going to open up in a little bit. William and Zang got to leave in a second. Um, but I was just going to tell you, you should go in this Bitcoin Crypto Academy that I built. Got different instructors. Brock Pierce is in there. We got William. We got Ben. We just recorded a badass, more in-depth screen capture of this GDAC stuff. 
people missing out on all these trends and can't and you know just wonder why they don't have why the things aren't going well for them. Look into stuff. Tylopez.com slash Bitcoin. I'll put up the link later. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, we're we're both really busy guys, yeah. but we're coming over here to with Ty. Uh, you know, whenever we get a chance to try and educate you guys and help you out. So I hope that it's helpful to everybody. And uh, we're gonna keep the content coming. Yeah, let's keep going. Someone said why? Let's keep okay. So let's keep looking here. So we got these orders open. Boom, boom, boom. Let's switch. Let's talk. Let's go. How long? What's up? Are we? Is it taking a while? The app on here completely took away the publish. So I'm using my own phone. I'm setting it up right now. Uh -oh. It'll be up in 20 seconds. What do you mean it took away the publish? Like the button for publish to go live is off the phone now. What do you think? You broke Facebook? The Jeez. I see uh, it online. Let me see if it still works online. <laughs> Facebook, we always have trouble. I, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like they don't have the same proficiency that Google has in terms of online video. They got into the game later. Yeah. So calling out Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> they did get into the game later. I mean, they were supposed to have a full video platform for monetization, like 2017. Yeah. Come out, so. yeah. Somebody said, uh, Ripple to be $1.50 before 2018. Yeah. Yeah, could happen. We were just, uh, we were doing XRP Ripple on, on Binance just a second ago. Yeah. Ripple's at 92 cents right now. What? Didn't work on yours? Uh, yeah, it looks like it's working, but I'll need this to on. comment. Or to moderate. Just go live. Let's okay. Just go live, and then you can get the comments up later. Yeah. Gotcha. Here, you know. Well, let me put "do not disturb." I'll get a bunch of. What altcoin to bet on while Bitcoin's head up to while Bitcoin heads up to twenty five grand? We've been talking on lots of points. Okay. I like Gollum right now. You like yeah, Gollum? If you want something really like small, Gollum cable. might be a really good choice. Gollum. Gollum. What's the trade net? Penny is something like less than a dollar probably. And why do you like it? What's the underlying fundamental? Um. Look, you trade on the rumor and you sell on the news. Um, <laughs> I'm giving you the rumor. Hey, you guys want <laughs> the rumor the news. The real <laughs> deal. Yeah. We're Next time, time. just go on like, Let, let's do Facebook for one millisecond. Five minutes, because we crashed. No, I'm ready to go. I just got friends okay. lost texting me if you want to make cookies. But I'll stay here with you. It's more important. You got 50,000 people. Tell, I'm going to yeah. just the Christmas Francois. 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 Eat your own cookie. Yeah, tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> Next time, just grab my phone and just go. Because it's... Let's not wait on okay. 43 different phones. My okay, phone. I'll go straight for your phone next time. Got it. Okay. Let's just go. Yep. I mean, if, I mean, if you need <clears> We're live. Time. What's up, Facebook? You can give me a heads up. We're live. We're trading right here. Will Bitcoin crash? We crash. Will it come, it come back? We crashed Facebook already once. <laughs> let's see if we can crash. We put this, so let's do, um, let's do, let's talk about, we just did some Litecoin. We put in some uh, limit order. We're gonna buy if it drops to 100. <laughs> William here being greedy. Well, William <laughs> built the trading crypto desk for science. He works with Brock Pierce, Ben Savant, Rain Man of crypto. No, I won't call you Rain Man. He's a Rain Man. He's a Rain Man <laughs> kind of crypto and investment banker background. Um, so let's let's switch this up. Let's go. Let's check out a lot of talk on you guys Ethereum. What about Bitcoin Cash? Oh, we love Bitcoin. the Bitcoin Cash. Let's look here at back at our back at our charts. Oh, look, she came down. Came down. Now, if you look here, we got it set to an hour. What was our low? Fifteen fifty six. God, same thing. Yep. Yesterday was the somebody. Minute. Somebody just let this be a lesson to you who get your freaking new ideas about money from CNBC, Fox, or all these morons. Look. It crashed here at 1556. <laughs> if you have been up at 22nd at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. If you have been awake at 6 in the morning, had bought, put a limit or uh, buy in at 1555, 7, whatever, it's at 2900 right now. So you would have bought low and don't basically doubled your money. It's it's, time. Let, let's, let's go in. <laughs> now, for those of you face, Facebook people who are new, I'm not promising you that if you listen to any of this, you're going to double money or make money. Don't invest money you don't have to lose. Put 20 bucks into it. Hopefully, no one goes broke on 20 bucks. So we're going to buy right now. What are you looking at here on the candlestick? We're going to set a limit, and we're going to set a limit. Set close. it to 15 minutes. Let's set it to 15 minutes. Where are we at right now? So if you set it to 15 minutes, our low has been what? Let's just put it by um, 2300. No, let's put it by right here. 
<laughs> William is greedy. a master. <laughs> William, the master, he's a Virgo. He wants to be greedy with this yeah. shit. 2556. 2565. 2565. And this is not even much money. This is your mom. Let's see if we can win. Winning so we're putting in an order right here for 0 0.07 Bitcoin worth of Litecoin. I mean, of uh, cash. No, it's uh, a 0 0.08 Bitcoin cash. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's you got it denominated in dollars. So it's we have it in dollars. You can so pair it in dollars. Let's see if that, oh my God. Let's see if that fills while you're on your flight tonight. Yeah, so I'm going on a flight. All right, somebody said. Tim Gorano, I could send you a screenshot. I picked up three Bitcoin Cash at 1570 on the crash at around six in the morning. So <laughs> whoever's listening bought it. And now, so let's show both ends. Let's show both sides of this trade that you can do. By the way, Ben and William are being very generous being here. They could be having cookies with uh, Francois. Man, I'm always done to do business, you know that. <laughs> If you, no, if, you, right. if you tell Francois I'm staying here, then Francois. She's, saying, she's probably watching. Francois, I'm staying here. Francois. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell her, we, I need you guys for 15 more minutes. <laughs> <Tell her. laughs> keep, keep scratching. Thank you. Francois, I need William and Ben for 15 more minutes. Can you bake the cookies later? Yeah. We got like 50,000 people. We're gonna watch this live, yeah. so please. Okay, yeah. thank you. Francois just controls, uh, controls everything. She's. she's I left her away. Sell wall. We're going. Look down. at the cell. So here's here's the cell wall. A whole bunch of people. Damn, it's just rising up. Huh? Yeah, it's right there. That's a, it's, it's so a people want to sell at twenty eight eighty five. There. So right now, a lot of people are selling. Right. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. And it's not just you can see the algorithmic trading, but this is a lot of forty three Bitcoin twenty nine. I don't see as much super small, uh, you know, uh, programmatic stuff. Like I think a lot of uh, actual traders are trading Bitcoin. Cash. Yeah, a lot of traders right now are trading yeah. Bitcoin. It's cash. New bears are in right now. A lot of, it's a lot of fun. And also, think about it, a lot of large holders of Bitcoin. So now it's starting. The wall starting to change. It's starting to step like that. What do you think of that, Ben? Um, it just means that people are trying to get closer to the price and make sure that their sales go through. Yeah. So they're moving down. They're moving closer. They're moving price. closer to the current price. And they're not, so they're getting less greedy maybe? They just want out. So people are trying to get out. We got 2864. Yeah, it's going to keep moving over. 2880 basically. Yeah. So one thing we could do, if we, want, if we wanted to be on both sides of this, we could buy 0 0.08 Bitcoin worth of, I mean Bitcoin cash at 2565. Is that what you said? Oh, no, yeah. you, what did you put it at? 2565, yeah. Yeah, you put it at 2565. I think it's going to keep coming down, which it might, because it seems to be trading right, right, it right there. It'll come back down to the bottom of the screen candlestick right there. Right there. Yeah. So that's 25 okay. around 60. 25, 56. Why do you think that one, bottom of that versus the bottom of that? Um, because this one um, just looks good to me. Dude. I've been doing this a long time. Yeah. So I couldn't tell you exactly why. He goes by his gut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So basically, you think it's there. I so we, we put an order in to buy there, which is. I read a book that I'll share with you. Okay. And I'll share in our, our private lessons that has okay. to do with candlesticks um, and, and timing the bottom of candlesticks and looking at all these types of things. And I'll share that with you. Okay. Yeah. So we, we don't like, he's not going to put everything live. So 2565, we're going to buy there. That's not even showing on here, but. There. So 2565 is around there so that's the, that's a giant giant support right there right oh yeah it's not going to go below 20 that's the largest that we see so it's probably not going to go so if we would have put it in at 2200 that, that was the chance that was the last chance for a while yeah this stuff's time sensitive you got to learn this the school system should have been teaching us this stuff they taught us hypotenuse the triangles which you know there's very few times i wake up and go you know what's wrong with my life that damn triangle in my life. I can't figure out the hypotenuse. <laughs> but, but a lot of people wake up and go, I wish I could make some money and understand markets. I mean, this is like life 101. Yeah. And if, you're, so, if you're a college student, you can actually do some things. When I was at Tulane, I brought the TD Ameritrade Trading Challenge to my school. So if you're a college student out there, you can do things like that. Get involved with a professor or whoever you can and see about bringing that extracurricular activity to your school. You can earn money, you can win money, and it's a lot of fun. And then you can apply principles that you learn in that type of thing to cryptocurrency markets. Yeah. So as we wrap up, let's do one more. One more. Let's talk about, there's only four things you can trade now on like GDAX and Coinbase. So you can just do Bitcoin, uh, ETH, Litecoin, and then just we'll for do now. Litecoin. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. For now. <laughs> for now. <laughs> yeah, the cat. 
these four: Cash, Bitcoin, and Ether, Bitcoin Cash is and like that was that was very yeah. This good. one just popped on here. You yeah. can see. Look at that. Look at what happened with um, Bitcoin Cash. If we go back by the the one day, day. there's actually a scandal. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> that is like 9,500, I think. It's not showing where it is. It doesn't show where it really went on GDAX. GDAX yes. is one base one higher. Yeah. We're using GDAX. Should we come in a little bit tighter? We can maybe come. But just look at this. Um, G- GDAX.com. This is G-D-A-X. when it got listed on G. It wasn't on GDAX before. Nope. Yeah. But 6,000. <laughs> so yeah. what happened to the people who bought high here? I don't know if anyone bought that. I, you know, part of it could be that everybody bought at a lower price and there was no book because nobody had. Put their there was no or anything. It was weird. So it just jumped and then yeah. it was halted. It was but like realistically, a, people were buying right here. Uh, it was like watching an IPO when it came out. Yeah, people were yeah. buying at. There, you can see it better here. <laughs> <laughs> Only in crypto. Yeah. <laughs> Almost ten thousand. Uh, yeah, that's not even. I don't even know what that is, dude. What is that? I don't know. That's what I want. The, Chase, if you're out there, I want you to start representing my bank account as a candlestick. I've been asking you to do this. <laughs> <laughs> it shot. If you can't yeah. see, it shows nine. Somebody yeah. bought at ninety five hundred dollars, yeah. and it's at twenty nine. Not a good day for no. that person. No. But realistically, there forty five hundred. Is that when someone started buying? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Probably someone was there buying. It was probably a market maker. Yeah, probably a market, market maker. maker. Yeah. Actually, all this activity at the beginning was all arbitrage because it was still trading at like twenty five hundred bucks elsewhere. So, like on Binance, people are selling over here. Well, there's probably buy orders over here from people like yeah, you know, other than that. Yeah, yeah. but because Bitcoin Cash. Um, here, someone said Jose. Not one of them has said anything about price action. Why did it drop, dummies? Jose's a genius. And we're did all you dummies. watch the uh, the uh, Jose? Did you watch <laughs> the watch the live podcast last night? No, he didn't watch. Dude, he ain't smart enough. To, to Why don't you go watch the last video? I yeah, watched the last video it. yesterday. <laughs> We're all dummies. The only smart person in the world is Jose E. Cornell Jose. on Facebook. Jose, Jose we bow yeah, to we your money to making. Money. One day I will be able to be Jose Cornell. <laughs> uh, okay. Somebody said, can't see. Can GDAX be used on my phone? Alberto says. I no. I wouldn't do any trading platform besides Coinbase or Gemini on your phone. Yeah. It's just not smart to yeah. use your phone either. I just using 300 it. Ethereum is a lot different than $300. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. Be sure careful. you don't want to buy, what is that? $210,000 worth of something yeah. <laughs> on, your, on your phone. Just like Bank of America doesn't let you do big wires through their Bank of America app. Yeah. Some of it's just, you need to have a laptop. You should have a dedicated laptop too. I was talking to to yep. some of my crypto security buddies and they're like, ideally you have a laptop that's only, you ain't watching anything else. Whatever you watch late night, I don't wanna know. Don't, I'll have to do it on the same computer. Don't do all your yep. stuff. Don't log into your business account. Don't log on to Wi-Fi's that you don't really know and trust. Somebody said, our, rest in peace, Jose. Shout out to Jose. <laughs> Shout out, Jose. <laughs> Sorry, hey, Jose. man, he started it. I'm he just saying, it, I like that people go, dummies. Yeah, it's cool. My question to you, Jose, if we're dummies and you're watching us, doesn't that make you even stupider than us? Because if <laughs> I think something's stupid, <laughs> I don't watch it again. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Nicholas Collins says, after the 21 million Bitcoin is mined, what incentive is left? Well, that won't happen until it's changed 2146. Yeah, change right. Over 100 years from now. <laughs> I'm glad you're uh, I, I mean, we could theoretically get there by like 2040. Really? But, but yeah, we can I get there. I thought it's not. Projections, I saw projections two months ago. It depends how many miners jump in. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, more importantly, uh, exchange fees will still be there. Yes. So the fees, like as a as a... Whether the bounty on the on the block yeah. will still be there, it just won't be creating a new Bitcoin. But it kind of makes sense not to create a new Bitcoin if Bitcoin six figures or coming a yeah, bit six figures. We're not seeing bank of new. And also, that does that's the the point of Bitcoin is not to just be exchanged, uh, just to be traded for quick money. The point Bitcoin in an ideally world will be used to buy things. You'll buy a car. You can buy a Lamborghini in Orange County. You can buy a Tesla from Elon Musk with one. Yeah. So it's not like just because all the coins are out there that they're, it's like saying all the gold is out there. Yeah, all the gold's out there, gold's still valuable. That's not a, that, people don't think about it correctly. Vitalik, um, or Ethereum used to get paid by Bitcoin Magazine and Bitcoin to write articles. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's the payment thing, man. That's what originally got me interested in Bitcoin was the idea that, you know, predatory services like Western Union, et cetera, um, cannot really uh, take advantage of people with something like Bitcoin out there because they can go ahead and send money on the ground. Yeah. Disintermediation is the key to this whole industry. 
Yes. So let's talk, let's do, let's switch over to ETH for a second. So ETH, what are we thinking? This is Ethereum, this is the coin that's being, Ether's being used to, you know, run the platform. It's got actual use, because yeah. it's running, what, a thousand, how many businesses are running? Well, well any ERC-20 ERC tokens, yeah, ERC there'll 20. be a thousand by the end of next year, probably. Yeah, so e Ethereum is kind of like a, a platform that people are doing their ICOs. A lot of yeah. these ICOs are happening on there. There's it's for want, point compatibility. Yeah. You want to create that trading pair so that you always have a way to get out. Yes. And so, what do we see here? Let's go back. Let's shrink this back. Go back to the right. 600. So right now, last trade, 684.01. What is this? What is this candle? What's the chart? Uh, why don't we put an order at six hundred one and see what happens? Why'd you pick six hundred one? Because I think that so where's the bottom of this candle? See if this green candle right here. Right here, bottle of the green six ten. So put six eleven. All right. So we're gonna buy. Just do it, do it for twenty six dollars, just so we can see where we're at. What was that little trick you were doing? Oh yeah, yeah. here. I'm just trying to. Right, look. You set it to market. Uh, yeah. And then you go six eleven. Do twenty six. You do it to us, you can like. 26, yeah, so point zero 0.03. So copy paste that. Okay. Why are we doing $28? Yeah, why not? Just to show we're right. Okay. <laughs> so you go ahead and put it in. I'm on point here. Oh, you were, no. Oh, so. oh, just to control it. There you go. There you go. Okay. <coughs> He's a Mac guy. I'm a PC guy. It's, it's, so we're going to set it at, what'd you say? 611. 611.44. Let's do that. Why not? It's random, completely random. <laughs> All right, so we're buying $26. This is a little test account I set up. I'm not gonna do my main thing on here, but we set up, we put a, I put a thousand bucks in there. So we just bought, you can see the open order right here on GDAX. Open order, we're getting point, oh no, no, this is the one we did. The point zero three. Point zero three. I like that they put the approximation, the little symbol, <laughs> the baby symbol. And we're saying at 611, we'll buy it. Yes. And it's at 680. Yeah, so we're, do you think looking at this, I mean, look, 611. Yeah, I think you go to 611. It's a pretty big red candlestick here. <laughs> Wait, 611, oops, hold on. 611 is All the way there. It'll probably fluctuate a lot more if you didn't even get there. You didn't but get to, but right here is the first, should we put it in first at 649? Yeah, and it could step down just like it did there. What about putting in an order to buy right there too? Sure. At 650. Do that for two dollars and eighty-seven cents. <laughs> yeah, we, we've been, we've been, we got a whopping two eighty-seven. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, if Ether goes to two thousand dollars, then that's <laughs> that would be great. Be Ten bucks. <laughs> so we're gonna buy point zero 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 four yeah. well, ETH, yeah. and we're yeah. gonna. What did I say? You want to do it at six forty-nine? What did you say? Six. So I was looking at these walls here. Six six fifty. So do it at 649 or six or 648. 648. All right, 648. Lim price. 648. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. So now we got it in. <laughs> you, these are our being greedy <laughs> orders. <laughs> what do you mean by candlestick? Jake is asking. Okay. Please pop these up here. Candlesticks. Now, if you want to learn a little more about candlesticks and all these different things, you can go to uh, what is it? Investopedia. The Investopedia is a great yeah. resource. Yep. And you can also go to stockcharts.com. And also, for those of you in the Bitcoin, Tylopez.com slash Bitcoin uh, Academy, the mentorship, yeah. we just did a screen share of this. It's a little hard to see on these live calls or if you're listening to this. Go there. It's a paid program, but you get what you pay for sometime. Yeah. Ty, how do you explain this concept to the older generation? Um, the well, go to the class. <laughs> yeah, or you could just say this. Everything else has gotten modernized in the world over the last 200 years. Medicine is more modern. Yeah. How we travel around, we don't go in steam engines. Yeah. Where's my steam engine? Jay Leno does sometimes. He does a steam engine. We go on a barge. Last yeah. time I traveled, I didn't go on a barge. Now we use airplanes, cars. The one thing that has, or one of the things that hasn't been improved upon is how we deal with money. Yeah, and that's money's, all time. Money's and, and really, what, what's happening in, in, in the in the past? You know, you have the management of a company, you have the the consumers that are buying the product, and you have the shareholders that own the company. Yes, and the management is basically trying to balance the needs of the consumers and the shareholders. Shareholders want to make as much money as possible. Consumers want the best deal as possible. Right, and that balance has stayed intact for hundreds and hundreds of years. And the difference with this system is that the shareholders and the consumers. 
they're the same people. And they're, yes. instead of being fighting against each other, Align having management interest. trying to, yeah, correct. You align the interests of the shareholders and the consumers that used to be at odds with each other, and it allows for a lot more uh, significant growth and uh, speculative growth, so. Yeah, Coinbase freezes money for eight days. Ah, oh, that's if you use the Coinbase. Uh, just use GDEX. Yeah, don't use Coinbase. GDEX is owned by Coinbase. Yeah, they're just gonna take your money. Okay. This is Coinbase for big boys. This. It's owned by the same company. Yeah. Banks always win, wake up sheeple. Jack Hoskins knows everything. Guess what? <laughs> Thank you, Jack Hoskins. Crypto, the, the banks can't. Yeah, they don't, they don't own it. <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> Litecoin good for the long term. Going back there, what do you see as any, what's your long term predictions? We look here. Bullish. I'm bullish. Let's not do long term. What do you see in the next week for Litecoin based on this? I think it can come back over 300 over there. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to come up of over 300. Long term, I see it going a lot higher. I kind of consider it the silver to Bitcoin's gold. Yeah. yeah. Like and that's a really good way to think about it. If you buy gold, you buy some silver with it. Yes. And that's basically what we have here with Litecoin. It's a little bit more useful. I think it's a little bit less rare. rare. What about, will Ripple get up here on GDAX Coinbase? We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. There's a, there's a, lot a of threshold. Talk, a lot of rumors. We'll about have that. a talk about XRP. So if XRP goes on here, it'll probably shoot through the roof. By That's not the only thing that can make XRP shoot through the roof. And, yeah. and so you're bullish on XRP? I am bullish on XRP. Uh, yeah. And the reason that I'm bullish on XRP is because of the dispersion. The dispersion is 70% in financial institutions. Yep. It's a tool of settlement. And one thing people don't really understand is settlement isn't just bank to bank settlement. I mean, it is, but it's not just for, hey, somebody transferred some money over here, we need to go settle that debt. Yep. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, this person bought a house that this person had a mortgage on from this bank and, you know, they sold a house over here, they had a mortgage on over here, and all that is settlement too. Yes. And XRP is not being used for any of those things, it's just held by the right people. Yeah. And eventually, it and might be used. And it's things. being used, I think. It's being used, it's being used by a select number of banks, but yeah. every bank has some. Yeah. And when I say some, you know, maybe it's up to 100, 200 million bucks now. Yeah. So, and they didn't pay nothing, not a dollar for it, so. Somebody said here, question for you guys, James Tyson, on Facebook Live says I bought Litecoin at 317. So let's we're here. Don't at sell. Don't sell. Buy more. So he bought it higher than it is now. He's not a financial. But if you financial if you market. had bought it up here, so he bought. If I had bought it up there, I would not sell it. I would buy more here. Yeah, buy more, yeah. average it at a lower price, yes. and reap the rewards in a week. Dollar cost averaging. You have to remember. Sometimes it's like anything in life. You ain't always gonna win. So, but you can't be afraid to lose a little bit if you win. You can lose some battles if you win the war. Yeah, absolutely. Every general in the world sometimes has to retreat from some battles. As long as you win, and the war in this is as long as, ideally, you make your overall money. bank account goes up. Yeah. Who cares if it bounces around? And every time you, you lose. Look at this, what are you seeing? We're, we're, we're dropping off. Yeah. We're dropping, let's set it. We have a bunch of buys. There's some buy stuff. Yeah, 252, 140, 100. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're getting close. Yeah, it's coming down. He's a genius. You guys are geniuses. We might make some money right now by buying this thing. Yeah. Look at this. What did we when we put it in? What was that? 280. Was that 280? 280. Yeah. So remember how everybody in this world that doesn't know what they're talking about, but they write articles for various financial magazines. Remember how they go? Oh, when it drops, you it's a scam. It's a bubble. What do smart people do? Bye. What do smart people? Do? They're excited. We're like, it's dropping. Da, 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 da. We're oh, dancing party. around. Yeah. It, it, Ty, you can come to our next Bitcoin dip party. I like it. <laughs> so you can see right here, look at this. This is a 15 minute chart. Let's switch it to, let's look at that one minute, minute right here. Oh, yeah. oh, I see more oh. Oh, now people are starting to buy though. Yeah. You see the candle forming right yeah. there. Yeah, but let's see if it really gets anywhere because it's I think really it's gonna, teetering. It's teetering, it's gonna break through that again. So it's you like, think it's gonna break down until 265? It's coming down to 265. You think it'll be down to 265? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's wild. Okay, a couple more quick. Dude, did this die? All right, question. No, see you guys. <laughs> Bitcoin is 14,110. Is that what Bitcoin is at? 14,110, I think. Yeah, 14,106. Mind blown. Thank you. Holy shit, why are you saying you should buy lows? No way, somebody says on Twitter. It's just logic, guys. He likes to buy high and sell low. <laughs> Give me your money, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Keep on giving it over. Please. So, 
If you don't buy lows, when do you like to buy? I, I have to ask this guy. Buy the high when I'm selling, and then yes. on the low, sell to me. Can I get your phone number and text you? Yeah, every, time you it's, my client, every time it's high. He, he, we've met somebody that yeah. now. I, I only want to trade with you. How about that? Yeah. We want to want, we, we, want, we will trade. I love this. Bought it very low. Oh, man. Very long time ago. It's BS, but okay. This is literally the world we live in. Yeah. Like it's upside down. I mean, I even though I'm not, we shouldn't really be laughing at you per se. Your head's in there, Josh. Um, like maybe I'm just laughing at we're all all of us humans. How to buy all coins? Crazy. We have a different wallet for every different and, coin. You know, every ERC twenty coin works with similar wallets. So a lot of the altcoins coins that are built on ERC twenty protocol for Ethereum, you can trade them from the same wallets or you can store them in the same wallets. Yeah, and by the way, we are showing we you this GDAX. We were just up on Binance. Binance. I don't want to get. We don't want to get too advanced because it's people get you know confused. What about Neo? Where can we buy Ripple? Well, Ripple. We were just on Binance. Bit, yeah, you can go on Binance or Bittrex. Bittrex, Bittrex has probably the mm-hmm. most that you'll ever but need. But Bittrex people can't. New people can't. You can also you can get on. Uh, uh, you can buy uh, Ripple on GitHub. Referral on your site. If you go to yeah. GitHub.com, you can buy Ripple and you can do a, it with your credit card or cash. Yeah. If you like Ripple, yeah. we're not. We, we do not work. We're we're not co found You're not co-founders of Ripple, right? No. no people always not. think we're trying to pump and dump stuff. No. Um. What about Neo? I bought Litecoin at 150. I'm still holding. How to take? Okay. Let's real quick. Kind of. Keo Matadisabi said how to take profits off a of coin. So let's say. Oh, did something just fill? Something fell. No, this is the wrong one. Yeah. yeah different trade. Mm-hmm. What were we in before? Litecoin. Litecoin USD. Yeah, here's our like. So let's say this fills. <laughs> let's say this would be amazing. It fills. We are able to buy Litecoin at 100 bucks. What do you do next? The question is, how do we take our profits from this? Oh, okay. So uh, that would probably happen while you were sleeping. You'd wake up, Litecoin would be like 180 bucks. Yep. You just go ahead and sell that Litecoin right over here. But would you put in it before you went to sleep? Does it make sense to potentially? Put in an order. An order? Oh, yeah, yeah, because of Korea. So yes. we, right now, our the biggest trading volume in the world is happening in Hong Kong time. So yes. Korea, Hong Kong, um, and uh, yeah, Japan. Asia is buying more than the Americans. Yeah. Not oh, just yeah, buying more, trading more. Trading more. Yeah. Grandmas South are Korea, trading in South Korea. Grandmas trading and yes. uh, cooking. Yeah, it's in they're time. trading. <laughs> I need to go. We need to go to North and South Korea. And take a well, look. Well, I don't know if you want to go to North. I don't know if I'm welcome. Not North Korea. Korea. I say North Korea. I didn't mean North Korea. I meant <laughs> South Korea. I'm sure Kim or whatever his name is would be more than willing to give you an all. I'm going to Dennis trip. Rodman. Me and Dennis are headed out there. <laughs> okay, but real Dennis quick. is coming back. You are. <laughs> so we got. Let's say this fills one light point at a hundred bucks. Yeah. Let's put something on the sell side. Let's just put a market. Let's put a limit stop. Let's put one. So if we wanted to lock in that, sell that one, and what would you put it to not be greedy? Put it, put it at three twenty. No, but that might not fill, right? Because it's can we just put it? Where do you think this is for sure to go back up to? Go to uh, Monday. Monday. I mean, you could be super crazy, dude. What you spend? Did you say three twenty? Yeah, three twenty. Yeah, no, three twenty is within the range right now. Yeah, okay, that's right. the top of the range. Yeah. So the top of the range. Three, no, the top is. Right there, isn't it? Three seventy nine. Well, that's that's uh, on like the six seven. Yeah, that's that's a while ago. Yeah. Oh, the you're current range just like today. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So how do we find the current range? Yeah, yeah you're right. Three twenty should be around right. Yeah. One hour, we can see back. <laughs> what time is it? Six. So, six yeah, you're right. Three eighteen. So we'll put it in at three eighteen. Yeah. So now here is a potential. Now this is there's no guarantee because this is a limit. Uh, you know, the limit buy, and limit sell, but we place the sell order. Theoretically, if, if things went well, while I'm on an airplane, I gotta hit, I'm headed out for Christmas. This thing drops, I buy it automatically. This is automated, right? GDAX, you set it up, 100 bucks, and then maybe in an ideal world, we sell it for 318. So, my dream, your dream is you wake up in the morning. This says filled, and this says filled. Yeah, absolutely. and you tripled your money. Yeah, but but the guy said that's not the way to do it. He said we should be buying at the top. We yeah. should be we should be selling when it's super low. And that's how I got to where I am today: <laughs> is by buying high and selling low. You know, man. I'm worried sometimes yeah. about the school system. <laughs> I'm worried about the school system. Some people, are, and by the way, don't put this order in backwards. 
If you put the order in backwards, you'll be buying high and selling low. Yeah, that Koi had something to say about that. He's not happy about the buy high, sell low, man. Alex Morton, GDEX is the only exchange without fees. Well, we didn't say that. That's not exactly how to think about it. All these companies are going to make their money. What's Sean, the SMA and EMA. Electronium going to pop. Electronium's that mobile thing. I've mobile seen it on my, uh, my Facebook ads. Dude, Facebook ads so much Yeah, if you, get a ton of, if you get a ton of Facebook ads on something, I tend to not buy it. Yeah. Um, because it means that people want me to If the coin's that. being pushed. I think that's shameless promotion. Yeah. And that's not that's not the you know, if you actually had a product that was really good, you wouldn't be shameless. Yeah, people would be sharing it for you. Yeah. Pump and dump. What's the best way to get started on Bitcoin? All right. So thank you guys for I'm gonna keep going and talking here before I gotta head out. We'll keep looking at these charts. Uh I'll see you when you get back. Right. My man. See you soon. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Right. Thank you guys. Yeah, man. Bye. See you guys. All right. Say hello to Francois and the I cookies. Will. I'll bring you some cookies. I'll, I'll have them over. So too. I'm gonna answer some questions. Um, go catch a plane. What price? How do I feel about? Is that GDAX mobile app you're using? No, this is not mobile. G I don't think GDAX has a mobile. Cardano. Where do can dev learn blockchain develop? There's actually a new, uh, I think it was an ICO called the Academy. I recorded a video for them. Yes, please nobody listen to that one person that said do not buy low. That would be insane. But, hey, Ben, what, what time do we actually have to leave? I thought the flight should leave by 7. Yeah, but that sounds wrong. That's, that sounds wrong. We can leave a little bit later. Yeah, a little later. Okay. 9.15. So let's talk real quick for all of you listening and watching. It's just me now. We got the charts up. We'll keep watching. We'll see if any of these orders get fulfilled. Um, is that considered a market bet or a limit bet? Don't think of this as betting. It's probably not the best way to do it. Um, Ethereum's gonna pass a thousand. Let's look at what Ethereum's at right now. 665. This guy says it's gonna go to a thousand. Hmm. If you look here one day, you can kind of see where this thing has gone. It's peaked at 870, around 850 plus. Hadn't hit a thousand that I see here. But you never know. The market's very. So this is what I want to tell you guys real quick. For those of you watching, listening, um, before I came on live, Ben, William, I was recording some screen capture stuff for the... Um, Bitcoin crypto mastermind. If you give us eight weeks, I'm gonna show you what the top mentors are teaching me. Literally, I'm just gonna let them teach you. Um, you can just watch what they're training. So, no one really is an expert in cryptocurrency, or very few people are experts. Most things that you read, whether it's journalists, whether it's people that are, you know, writing on Twitter or whatever, do they really know it's new? It's new, this is all new. So there's good news and bad news. The bad news I have for you is when something's new, um, there's not a lot of experts that can help you so you can make big mistakes. The good news is there's opportunities, there's trends that most people haven't seen. So when it comes to, let me push that off the side, and I think you guys can come in real nice and tight now. Cool. Because I, got, I got you, one. Okay. thanks. I highly recommend right, that you learn this stuff. And you can learn it on your own. You can go on Steam, you can go on Reddit, you can go on YouTube, you can go on Telegram groups and all that. If you want a group that I trust to teach you, that they're literally teaching me, I'm gonna put a link up in a second and you can go there and get in the program. Now, if you procrastinate, literally what we told people yesterday, today it happened. Now. We can't always say that. This is not a guarantee. This is not a get rich quick scheme. This is none of that. You can lose money. What this is, though, is a way for you to learn everything they forgot to teach you in school. And if that's important to you, jump in. If it's not, then, you know, go keep doing the thing you've been doing. So I'm going to read off the names of people. So it's very simple to get in. For those of you watching live on my website, there's a button. You can click the button. For those of you watching on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I'm gonna put up, can you bring around here that board right there? No, right here, click the buttons, yeah. 
So it's an eight week guided program. You're gonna get a special login, password, special website login, and give us eight weeks. I've got some of the most badass people that are gonna teach you. Should we, uh, want to push the TV? You still gonna use it? You know, I just pushed everything back a little bit. Well, so there'll be room to bring that in front and behind. Yeah, push the table up. This is kind of cool setup. I like this with the table. Is there room to just slide it behind me? Yeah, if you push it just a tad more, you'll be good. There you go. Okay, so we got some links up here. You can go to tylopez.com slash Bitcoin. If you're on YouTube, go to tylopez.com slash learn Bitcoin. Instagram, tylopez slash crypto. And if you're on Twitter, tylopez.com slash Bitcoin course. It's a paid program. Uh, it's got a 100% money back guarantee. If this stuff doesn't work for you, you can get all your money back. Okay, I've seen people using Fibonacci retracements and finite math to predict markets. Are you bringing on any for it? So the Fibonacci stuff, William and all the, William is a super advanced trader. Um, and we just recorded a screen share, literally going through some of that. All, some of the highly technical stuff, remember, it, this is not the stock market. So some of this stuff may or may not apply but the general principles do. All right, priceless info, always, as always, Ty. Do you have to have a Coinbase account for GDAX? Uh, I'm not sure if you can open GDAX, I don't know the answer, but the way most people would do it, you open up Coinbase and you get GDAX. So, you know, do it that way. I mean, is there any downside? Alex, we, if you have the money, do it. I would 100% seriously, people, this is good stuff. So Alex is in the program, awesome. Why is Binance so cheap compared to Coinbase? That's a whole nother conversation. This advanced arbitrage stuff is crazy. Like the arbitrage opportunities. Look, look on Binance right now. I was just on Binance. Actually, I don't wanna pull up my Binance because that's an actual account app. But Binance, the price is trading and it's amazing. Like Binance is trading at a different, different completely. You can basically buy low on Binance move it over and sell it on GDAX. There's a lot of opportunity, but don't do that unless you're advanced because stuff's easy to make mistakes, you know what I mean? Someone said the screen is kind of crooked. Is the screen crooked? Um, you know, GDAX has a lot of volume. You can see the volume here. You guys see this? Yeah, I have an idea. Right here, do you guys see that? That has a lot of volume. This is, we're in ether right now, 61 ether. 58 ether. Oh, that's cool. Does that actually show it? It's cut off on Instagram. Move it a little bit that way. Good. Better turn. I wish, man, Instagram and them are so annoying that you can't turn it sideways. Oh, Brady Jones, is it too risky to buy in the 100 to 200 altcoin range? We just recorded a lesson on that for the paid program. Um, when you start getting too small, like what William was telling me, he doesn't love to go past, let's say 150. Because of the market cap and the volume, the, the volume's low, it's thinly traded. So, what else? Don't think of the crypto as a dollar earning thing, but instead use dollars to buy coins, which in the future can be used to exchange services. Yeah. What about Bitcoin Cash? Ty, Bitcoin is crashing, Bitcoin Cash is going to rise up and shoot up. Let's see if this person's true. I feel like this person's I mean, telling the truth. I feel like they're getting their info from the mass media. So Bitcoin, here you guys can see right here. Uh, let's look at Bitcoin. So Bitcoin dropped, you can see, to below 12,000 right there, right? But where is it at? And then it came back up to 16,200. See? I don't know if you guys can all see this. We'll move, move this to the side for a second. It's not that simple, guys. <clears throat> and again... Does it matter if it drops, if you're buying? Do you wanna, look right here, you see this green and red? You see that wall right there? Let's zoom out here. So basic, right, that's a little bit too zoomed in. Here, right there, there's a huge wall at 13,499. A lot of people are ready to buy right there. 
they're like, oh, let this thing go down. So, and a lot of people want to sell. Let's see here. So right now, the first wall is around 14. What is it at right now? Damn it. Yeah. So look here. This thing, if it drops to 13,997, shitload of people are waiting to buy. So you have to understand, it's not as simple as the media says, and you can learn this stuff, man. You should learn this stuff. You should learn it. It's important. They should have spent four years of our college, uh, high school education on this. Reset four Instagram. Four years should have been spent on this stuff right here. You know what I'm saying? Because this is life 101. If you had a, if you understood some of this stuff, you'd have more money in your bank account if you knew how to do it right over the last 10 years of your life or five years, not just in cryptocurrency. This is also somewhat similar to the stock market. Remember, crypto is not stock. Stock is equity positions in companies. You actually own a little bit of Apple or a little bit of Snapchat or a little bit of Amazon. Cryptocurrencies, it depends, are, are most of these are either what's called protocol or they are you know utility tokens. There are some security tokens that are coming out. I got a friend working on a real estate token that will be more like a stock, but that's more advanced. That We don't need to talk about that now. So, yeah, most of the coins are like utilities, like they're being used, like ETH. Ether here, we'll switch to that. Ether is used, right? It's part of the Ethereum platform. Ripple, XRP, these are being used of banking technology. What's Ether at? Man, I look at that. Bitcoin Ooh. just dropped a lot. Bitcoin just dropped? Yeah, Let's 13, see. Okay. Well, not a lot. Oh, well, yeah, not a lot. Bitcoin's at 13,994. What was it? At 12 p.m., it was at 15,000. Man, I should. So, this is a test account. I'm all, If I had more money in a main account, I would buy right now. Look at this. You can buy. Oh, now it's going up, damn it. Look at this. It went down to 11,000. If you had bought at 11,000 at 6 in the morning, down here below 12, 6 in the morning, look at this. Best Christmas present you ever had, boy. And you had put in an order here at 16,000 to sell. <laughs> I, I need my phone right now. Who wants to buy things for 12,000 and sell them for 16,000 within six hours? I'm not promising you can do that in the future, but somebody did that. That's painful to watch. That's why I said you guys should get in this program because you shouldn't get into trade. You should get into learn. Learn. The more you learn, the more you earn, man. Warren Buffett said that the man has $200 billion in cash. He says the more you learn, the more you earn. So, James Tyson, I'm a regular guy. Can you make me your mini you? <laughs> um... Phil Stewart says the reason why these Fibonacci and these retracements work, damn it, we're getting too many comments too fast, is because it's about human psychology. Story recording on a treasure. Yeah, I mean, you want to take, by the way, as you guys make profits, one of the things you're going to learn at tylopez.com slash Bitcoin, you're going to learn how to safely store your crypto because you don't want to leave it on Coinbase. Not much of it. You can keep a little bit on it, but not much. All right. Can I buy blah, blah, blah. What about tax? So basically keep track of how much cash you put into it. That's called your, your basis. It's called your tax basis. And when you sell, you basically have to pay taxes on the money above your initial basis. Okay. What price did you buy at Bitcoin at time? Do I have the dollar cost average in? One of the main lessons I want you to learn is not necessarily in this program how to become a day trader because look, in a day trader like William, he's very advanced and very skilled and most people can't do that. So what you want to get good at is buy and hold if you believe in the technology. So you got to know how to research the stuff. We did a fundamental analysis lesson. You need to understand the tokenomics. You need to understand you know, the team, the community support, the dev team, the people building this. You need to understand the market cap and all that kind of stuff. So, 
So I know you don't give financial advice, but how confident are you it's going to go up on Dre Riggs? I, I don't think that way. I do not think that way. That is the way people who have been through the mainstream media and the mainstream education system. I do not think about will it go up or down. I think about the difference between what I bought it for and sold. So when it's all the way down, if I bought it, it doesn't have to go up much. Look, I got a... If you go back here, what was that? Litecoin on GDAX. I got an order in. I got a couple orders in. Now, we don't know if these will be filled, but I have, and I just did a test run for one Litecoin. So one Litecoin, I have an order in. You can see the green right there means I'll buy in the red. So I want to buy at 100. I'm willing to buy. And then I've got a sell order in at $318. So in my dream world, I don't care if Litecoin goes down. In fact, it's better for me that it goes down because then I got also a order at 140 and an order at 252. So if it, let's say the 252 one might happen. If it's at 275 now, let me set it to 15 minutes here. Um, so the thing's moving around. It's at, what is it? 280, 279, it's bounced down been at 264 recently so it's real this 252 might happen if that happens and I buy at 252 and then it bounces back up what's the highest it's been the highest it's been recently is 321 so I might buy for 252 and sell for 318 so don't think that way that's the way that the people who went through mainstream media and mainstream education brainwashing think okay now, I will say this. Don't put any money into this that you can't afford to lose. Don't put your mortgage money into this. Do not take a loan against your house. Use your freaking brain. Everything goes up and down. So, also, if you're a highly anxious person, you may not have the personality type that's going to do well. If, you're, if, you, if this moves one penny up or down and you have a heart attack, please don't do this. Don't do, Just put your money in gold or uh, not even gold. Put your money in Bank of America get 1% per year on your money or something, or just don't even do that. Just go live in a cave. Probably your safest bet. Mm. Alex Weeds, dip buy. When you're broke, limit orders, make it a game. On Binance, Bitcoin is at 12. What is Bitcoin at here? So you can see these different exchanges, these Asian exchanges. Bitcoin is at Man, Bitcoin's at 12, I know. Ah, there's so much to learn. We're not, I don't, I'm afraid to get into too much advanced stuff because some people are gonna misinterpret it. But theoretically, Nick McDonald says Binance Bitcoin's at 12,499. 12,499, right now you can sell it for 14,000. You got orders where people are buying right here at 144. Hey Ben, did you optimize stuff, is it good? Yeah, well, just Bitcoin. What, what's traffic say to get to the airport? <clears throat> Sorry? What's traffic say how long to get to the airport? Just 35 look. minutes. Oh, so there's no traffic right now. Yeah, we should just, max is 7.30, Yeah, minutes. Google also how bad that the... the, the today, today's the, the busiest day of LAX. Ty, you look like a CNN uh, anchor. Yes, I am here, Ty Lopez, CNN anchor. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, I just bought half a Bitcoin uh, cash, won't receive it for nine days. Guys, a lot of you use GDAX more than these. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm not going to. I don't want to get into uh, yeah, too much stuff. Let's see. I need help with that part so bad. How does it work with the four payment pants? So, okay, let's talk about this real quick. Let me read the names of some of you. Not all of you need to get into paid mentorship, but a lot of you do. If you had a great education, if you're a mathematical genius, if you know it all, like some of you seem to say on here, then you don't need to go in the program. Yong Bak Bak in British Columbia, welcome to the group. He did the one payment option. Uh, it's the busiest day of the year. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, I wonder how bad it is. How about the airport? <laughs> Does anyone at the airport so yeah, so watching yeah. the live stream? We can just watch the Twitter feeds. Yeah, yeah we can watch the Twitter feeds. Check it out. Um, 
Okay. It's so, you know one of the funniest thing? <laughs> James Frodo said, you told me, laughed at me 30 minutes ago when I told you Bitcoin was dropping to 12 or 13 grand. What we were laughing at is we already said that. You're confused. And Bitcoin here is at 14.344. Look, the whole point why we were laughing is because Ben over there predicted it seven days ago. So it's, uh, you, a lot of people have predicted it. Will Lavender will drop to 10 or 11,000. Great. Happy day for me. Happy day for me. Because look here. If you go to Bitcoin right here, you can see there's a lot of, uh, let's shrink this up a little bit so you guys can see. Woo. Look how many people will buy Bitcoin if it goes to 4,000. Oh my God. It's insane. Wow. Yeah, right here, $123 million worth will be. If it drops to 4,000, there's orders in for $123 million worth. Not bad. Is that right? Am I doing my math right? There's 13,000 Bitcoin available at 3683. It's cool stuff, right? Don't you wish you had been learning? Who here wishes they had learned more about this in school? Charlie says, funny that sounds impressive, but it's terribly unstable. Yeah, unstable, of course. The stock market is more stable, and that's why you earn 5% in it. So if you want, you, you get rid, there's something called volatility and risk reward ratio. So basically the way it works is when you take more risk, you have potential for more reward and for more loss. Duh, like we understand that. That's like what we're talking about. So I like that. It, it's funny that a lot of people just like say stuff. It's like if I said to you, as you get older, you will learn more things. You will know more at five than you will, uh, more at 25 than you will at five years old. Some of this is like, yeah, what's your point? We all know that. So when people go, Bitcoin will go up and down, I'm like, are you, are you speaking from a place where maybe some people thought that this will stay at the same price forever? It's supposed to move up and down. Just so you guys understand the underlying economics, whether this is a crypto or the stock market, the reason things move up and down is because human emotion and human psychology. So what happens here, let's just look here at, where are we at, Bitcoin? So here's probably what happened. Let's look at the last hours. Okay, right around here at six in the morning, now, Asia does a lot of trading, okay? But at six in the morning, a lot of people were all reading the same articles. Bitcoin's gonna crash, Bitcoin's gonna crash, Bitcoin's gonna crash. The bubble has finally burst. So psych what's human psychology? We understand it. It's fear-based. Most humans are extremely fear-based. Most people are married to somebody they don't like, but they're afraid to be single. Most people are uh, hate their job, but they're afraid to start their own business, right? Common human psychology, it's called risk aversion. That's the technical psychological word. So we have risk aversion. You can see it starting to happen here. December, this is, you know, a day or two ago. You start to see it happen. Start to see the news be bad. People start reading the news. People get their news from Bloomberg and blah, 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 who are trying to get ratings. So they just go and they, people get scared. But what happens here, and you can see in this, this other chart here, what you see is people are waiting over on this side to buy it. I zoomed in a little bit too much. So what happened is when it dropped down, here you start to see it. Can you guys see right there this big steep wall? That happened, actually I'm gonna zoom out a tad bit more. Okay, here you see it. So right around $11,490, right there, there was a ton of people, and this of course is forward, but this is, we're talking about the past. So we don't know what the chart looked like then, but roughly there was a ton of people that said, you know what, you're scared, I'm not scared. So it's the battle of psychology, the battle of psychology. And so you have to ask yourself, are you a sucker? 
that's always scared. And if you are, don't play this game. You know, this is not for everybody. But the odds are that some of you have the ability to think logically when everybody else is freaking out. And if that's you, then you can take this other side of the story and say, when it drops to 11,400, I'm gonna buy it. And if you had done that, and we can see here, that happened around 6 a.m. roughly, the bottom of the candle is at 11,784. So right around here, people started going, all right, you're too much of a scaredy cat. You don't want that Bitcoin? I'll take it off your hands. And so more confident people, less scared people, came in and started buying and the, you can see the price went up and within, from 6 a.m. to 6 a.m., within one day, it was up to 16,000. So these people were rewarded for their ability to control their psychology and they were able to buy at 11,700. So if you bought one Bitcoin for 11,700, you would have sold, and you sold it here. Not everybody did that. Hypothetically, that person, that human, somewhere on the planet, made $5,000 in one day, 5,000 in one day, doing nothing but pressing a few buttons. But they took a risk, make no mistake, because theoretically it could have kept going down, but it did it, it did it. So this is a psychology game. This is also ability to be logical and to be educated. Trust me, people who are educated, you don't have to be Albert Einstein, you don't have to be a genius. But the educated people are doing better than the uneducated. And so the people getting their information from better sources are doing better. You know, the reason that I have William and uh, Ben training me is because, you know, they come highly recommended from Brock Pierce, who's the chairman of the Bitcoin Foundation and probably somewhat close. I'm not sure if he's a crypto billionaire. But he's not too far away. You, you can't scroll down on Twitter. You guys got to remember that. I wasn't trying to scroll. I was trying to click it because it was right there. Yeah. Um, someone said I could see the koi fish in the pond. Who's your favorite crypto mentor? All these guys. I've had tons of smart people. I've had Brock on. Jeremy Gardner is 25. God knows. Let me look here. Jeremy Gardner has a coin called Augur, REP coin. He's co-founder of Augur. Look at this thing. Market cap 744, 744 million right here. When he was here on my show, okay. This may need to be dimmed yeah, just a little bit. It's, it's not a big deal, but it, it's, it's doubled. I don't know what percentage of this coin he has. I don't want to speculate, but if he had 10% of it, he'd be 25 years old worth $74 million. He's very smart. So that's one of the people that I like to learn from. Um, you know, I had a myth here from Block Street. He's an expert on data and analyzing these things. Hedge funds is using his information. So some of you, I wanna give you that opportunity to learn from the same people. Look, I've spent $400,000 this year flying to or flying in the world's smartest people on crypto to educate me. If you wanna spend 400,000, you can do it too. For those of you who don't have $400,000, you can get in my program for not even a grand. I think it's at one payment of $697, or you can do four payments of under $200. Bucks. Some people, you don't need it. You already know how to do this, fine. Don't mind. I mean, not everybody needs some things. Um, but some of you need to learn this stuff. And the odds are, if you're humble enough to admit that you don't know everything, Put 200 bucks in to your education, you know? So, someone said, can I pay mortgage payments in Bitcoin? Depends what country you live in. I doubt, I don't, most banks in America are not gonna uh, use that, but it depends. Bitcoin's now, I think uh, 10,000 different merchants accept Bitcoin. I'm actually, I don't, I'm a, a installing BitPay soon. Um, so right now you gotta pay with cash. I know it's stupid, but soon, you'll be able to pay with crypto. All right, what else do we got? I wanna wrap up soon. So I'm gonna give you, so I'm gonna keep this link here for about 41 more minutes. We got some special bonus. I don't know if I have time to get through them all. I'm gonna give you a 
ticket to a conference I'm doing coming up. You want to throw that up there? By the way, for the, you wanted to get in the program, you go to tylopen.com slash Bitcoin if you're on my site. If you're on Facebook, go to tylopen.com slash cryptocurrency. Tyler, or YouTube, tylopez.com slash learn Bitcoin. Instagram, tylopez.com slash crypto. Twitter, tylopez.com slash Bitcoin course. Okay, that way you'll be sure to get the bonuses. Let's swap that out. Or you can click the button on my site here. Roman bought at 12 grand. Somebody said, Ty, breaking it all down for us. You think, what do you think about holding coins as opposed to buy and sell interest instantly, Nick McDonald? Most people should buy and hold, but you know what? It's fun to do a little trading. So I recommend do a little trading just for fun. Learn it. Put, trade 20 bucks. You can literally trade $1. I think we put a $1 order in here. Do you have one extra dollar? 20 extra dollars, 100 extra dollars. Try it, what's the worst gonna happen? You're gonna spend your $100 on something stupid. Most of us spend 100 bucks on stupid stuff. So why not spend it on learning? I, I'm amazed at how people are so cheap when it comes to learning something. I'm not that way. If I find, part of the reason I was able to go from growing up with a single mom, living in a mobile home for my teenage years, to making, you know, I've, the best I've done is I've made in business, not in crypto trading, but in business, about a million bucks in one day, or it was a little over a day, two days, a million dollars profit in a day or two. And you know, now I make, let's say a hundred grand a day. It's not because I'm better than you, smarter than you. I went to public school system. I was a moron when I came out of public school system at 18 years old. I didn't know any of this. You think I knew what a limit order was? No. Um, so my answer and solution for myself was I started traveling the world. I found millionaire mentors, you know, I found millionaire mentors and lo and behold, they showed me how to make a million bucks. And now I know how to make, you know, a million bucks a week, a million bucks a day sometimes, you know, millions of dollars a year. And it's because of what I learned. So by the way, the reason I want you to use that private group is I got about $4,600 worth of free stuff. Normally you buy this on my website, it's an extra $4,600. So you're gonna get the Academy. I got a private Facebook group where we're posting where you can ask questions about trading. You can ask questions about buying. You can ask about the security side. You can ask, so that Facebook group access. Bonus, you can get a one-on-one -on -one with someone in my team if you have some questions on the phone. We're gonna give you monthly live calls that are not public. They're only for the private students. I'm gonna give you a conference ticket. I'm gonna give you this. this, is a $2,000 program. You can buy it separate on my website. It's on the whole thing about psychology and at, uh, from a sales and persuasion standpoint. I'm gonna give you some program that I've had closed. It's a $500 program on social media secrets. So all that for under a thousand bucks. One payment of 697 or four payments of under 200 bucks. And this is the most important thing. I'm gonna give you guys 100% money back guarantee. A few people we've had to give refunds to. Some people are like, oh, I'm too busy, you know. But I'm willing to give 100% money back guarantee refund policy because I don't want you to be scared. You might never have bought something online, I get it. Life's scary, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, let's see how our, how many orders do we put in? We, we don't have any Bitcoin one. And so I put a thousand bucks in here in US dollars at the beginning of this call and I have 13 cents left. What can I buy for 13 cents? Hmm. Hmm, what should I buy for 13 cents, Sam, Adrian? Uh, bazooka bubblegum. Bazooka bubblegum? No, no. I'll say we got Bitcoin, <laughs> Bitcoin Cash, Ether, Litecoin. What do you think? Which is your favorite? Flip a coin. What do Ether. you like? Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ether, Litecoin. Yeah, Ether. All right. He likes Ether. He likes how it sounds. He's a Scorpio. Let me see what my 13 cents will get me. Point zero 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 one eight seven three zero. <laughs> You're worse than a box. So, so I'm gonna go do a limit order, or I'll just do a market order. We'll just buy um, 
point. So the difference is market order is just gonna buy it at whatever price is next, okay? Um, if you do a limit order, you set the rules of when you want it to actually be fulfilled. Let's see if it'll do, I don't know if you can do 13 cents, but here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Can you guys see the butt? Oh, I don't know. You, can you move this yeah. here? I want you guys to see. So here, it's actually on this side. I put in 13 cents. I set it, can the pairing to be ether US dollars. Oh yeah, I can zoom. Good idea. Adrian. Too little too late. We needed this earlier. So I'm putting in 13 cents. Sorry. Oh, that's good though to remember for the next time. Yeah. All right, I'll go with that. All right, so we're gonna place a buy order. Your fund size, is, your other funds is too small. Damn it. All right, let's try this with a different one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Litecoin, let's try. Let's see if we can buy 13 cents worth of Litecoin. Ready, set. Damn it, I need $1. So I just found out, I've never tried this before. You guys need at least $1 to place an order. $1. Let's see, how much of the crypto market cap is controlled by automatic bots, uh, algo trading? We were talking about the algo trading. It's certainly there, it's, there's, there's nerdy people sitting in a basement writing you know, scripts that are doing this algorithmic trading. Denal Ramos said, trading is not easy, guys. It's not just like Ty said, just press a couple of buttons. The best thing you do is buy Bitcoin and hold Bitcoin. That's what we said at the beginning, Donald. Thank you, though, for reiterating that. We're not telling everybody to become a trader. I'm just showing trades. It was just like, I play basketball and I put it on my live feed. It doesn't mean everybody in the world should go play basketball. Yes. Rothschild family will not approve digital coins. Don't waste your money for nothing. Okay. Ignore that comment. Rothschilds don't control the whole monetary system, even though somebody read a conspiracy book about that. Not true. I'll just leave it at that. Um, Bittrex is not taking anyone else. I use Binance, there's Poloniex. There's other ones that you can do uh, to trade on. GDAX here, you can trade if you have a Coinbase account, you get GDAC, and this is to trade, you know, the main large cap coins. Max Webb tries to buy 13 cents in coins, get changed, charged 257 in fees. It's not quite like that. Some people are dramatic. <laughs> I just wanted to try it, man. I try, you know, one of the things that I do. I just like try, like if I go to a website like this and I'm new to it, I just like click on every button. Do you know how many things I've learned that other people don't know? You know how I learned? I started doing, inter I started as a teenager in business. I started doing Google ads in 2002 when it first started AdWords. And I just started, there was no YouTube videos. I just like clicked on every button. You can just start going through and just like click around. You're not gonna break stuff. Here's your, you know, overlays. If you want to see there, you just click them. Candle. Oh, I want to do line. Okay. Boom. Like there's no nothing. Deposit. Press it. It's not going to delete. Okay. You can send money by wire. You can withdraw. Like just click stuff. That's part of learning. It is helpful if somebody like walks you through it, but all right, I'm about to go. I got to go to the airport. So let's pull up one thing here. What was I doing? I forgot what I was. Oh, I know. I'm gonna read off the name of some people who got in the, the test group. Sweet. By the way, if your card doesn't go through, you can call the phone number. We have a 1-800 phone number. What is it? 1-800-604-2587. You'll get an email. 
automated that says your card is declined, sometimes you just gotta call, you just gotta call your bank and be like, that was me. Um, so yes, I see Gregory, where are you based out of Gregory? New York, all right, I don't have time to do too much more, but let's go. Thanks for all the free info, Ty. Rhythm BMW says, buy Litecoin is going, oh damn it, YouTube flies in here. Thanks for all the hard work. Ty, thank you for all this, I'm getting more into it, I'll learn more about it. All coin, oh man, let me grow, let me make, this is too big of a, what is YouTube saying? Ty, when's your pre-order book? So I'm working on it. It looks like it'll be the end of January. I did a pre-order where you could get my book for like seven bucks. So we're working on it. I want to make sure I have something good for you. I kind of changed the concept to a better concept. I had an epiphany in the shower and I was like, ah. Can you explain how to use DDAX? We were just doing that. Ty, when are you gonna choose for your video editor position? I'm looking through those. I did a little contest. Who's the best video editor? All right, I better head out because holiday traffic's gonna be a beat. Somebody says they use Cryptopia. They can't shut down Bitcoin if so many people have it. It won't follow the rules. They can't punish everybody. Yeah, I don't. People have tried to shut down crypto. It's pretty tough to shut down. I think Bill Gates said he doesn't believe anyone can shut it down. The use of Coinbase has legal restrictions here in Hawaii, Kiara said. Huh. <laughs> Gustavo Lagiola, I have five grand I want to invest. How would you split it? Here's the rule of all investing. Real estate, stock market, business, crypto. Begin to understand some things, some specifics. You don't invest in what you don't understand. So you need to understand if you want to invest in Bitcoin versus Litecoin, if that's in your mind, which one should I do? Read the white paper, the Bitcoin white paper. Read the Bitcoin, the Litecoin white paper. Go in and we just did a whole lesson on this in the program that shows you a couple of websites you can use to research. Don't invest in things just because other people say it's good. Use your own mind. Self-educate. Okay? Fraz said, should he put all five grand into Litecoin? Do not listen to Fraz. It's an oversimplification of life. Someone said, what's your cameraman eating? We can hear him chomping away. <laughs> so what do traders do? Keep in the wallet and send exchange and back the wallet over and over? Yeah, so basically as you make profits, you wanna pull the profits, a lot of it into cold storage. You want to have your, your kind of, it's like owning gold, okay? You can keep some, but you want to move it off the exchanges for the most part. Once in a while, these exchanges go bankrupt. So you lose it all. So you don't want to keep, you basically keep what you're trading here and then you, you make profits, take it off. That's lesson one. Brock Pierce teaches that in the Bitcoin Crypto Mastermind. So tie as high as hell. <laughs> I'm definitely not high, but thank you for telling me I look high. Bradley said, I paid 50 for the book, you just said seven. No, Bradley, yeah, you paid 50 because there was a package thing. So you got more than just the book. So don't have a heart attack, please. <laughs> Ty, is it illegal to hedge between exchanges? Are you talking about arbitraging between exchanges? Uh, I'm not a lawyer, but not that I've ever heard of. I'm, there are things that are illegal to do you know, fraud, stuff like that. But um, if you're able to buy on an exchange, that's lower. Not that I've ever heard of, ask your lawyer. Ty, how many crypto you hold? Sounds very Frankenstein-like. Ty, how many crypto you hold? <laughs> Me Tarzan, you Jane. Uh, I'm not sure if you're asking like the dollar amount or how many different coins that I hold. <laughs> Ty, this is the cryptocurrency course talk about trading. Yep, we just did a screen share off camera. Me, Ben, and William. It's badass. 
and it's it's a little this is hard to do a screen share because I got four cameras I can't get it all in why Bitcoin price again fall down so we definitely have people from around the world I'm assuming or people who went through the US public school system why Bitcoin price fall down again let's look at Bitcoin did Bitcoin price fall down again 1449 I agree. So I got an order here. What is it? 738. Oh yeah, I gotta go. Alright. So it's at 14.5. Right about there. 14.5. 14.493. So it's right here. You can see this. If you look, oh, let me change this to one minute or five minutes. You can see right here. So if you guys look right there, you can kind of see it bouncing around. I don't know if you can see that. There. This is a one minute. So since I've been on here, it's been as low as 13.83. Let me do it by minute. So in the last, it's been as low as, oh man, since I, what time did we get on here? How long have we been on? Uh, an hour 35. Okay, so what time is it now? So we got on at six. There we go. So the low was 13,814. So basically, somebody in the world bought right here and sold right now and made 700 bucks. There's somebody in this world, I don't know who they are, but I bet you there's someone, you see all these orders going in? It's crazy. You see all these people putting buy orders and all these people, see it's, uh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. People trying to buy low, sell high. Buy low in the green, sell high over here. So you can see the buys and you can see the sells, right? So somebody out there made 700 bucks per Bitcoin they owned. So if they had, it's kind of like gambling, but it's not gambling. If they had bought three Bitcoin right when I started this talk, it's crazy. I don't know, it was as low as 13,800. Oh, that's yeah, a little bit. So, and at the peak, if you, they had timed it right, which is very hard to do, but theoretically, yeah, 14.6, they'd have made $800 while they were watching. Now, once again, let me be clear. I'm not promising you, if you do this, you're gonna make $800. In fact, most people will not do that. Most people are gonna mess it up because they're gonna come in here, not know what they're doing, start buying stuff. They're gonna buy it at the right price. They're gonna do it accidentally. There was one guy on here earlier in comment that says he thought we were idiots. He goes, he, no, technical word, he goes, why would you wanna buy low, you dummies? Uh, he's definitely a product of some public school system in the United States, I would say. I'm pretty sure he's probably from the Los Angeles County Municipal School District. And one of his teachers one day was like, you know what you gotta do, Timmy? Timmy, don't you ever buy when things are low. I want you to buy high and sell low, my friend. It's a genius thing. Someone said Chris said he was messing with you. No, this guy was serious. He had a complicated reason why he thought, I'm just, you know, yeah. Oh, congratulations on one million subs. Cool. So have you changed your opinions about BitConnect yet? Yesterday I had Dan Fleischman on here. He owns a ton of BitConnect. He says, I'm probably invested in a Ponzi scheme, but it makes me a lot of money. So most of the gurus and mentors that I listen to don't like BitConnect. Dan Fleischman has a crap load of money in it and he said he's made a crap. He goes, if you've seen how much money I've made in BitConnect, he goes, it's not been a scam for him. But in general, most people are saying stay away from it. So, how much money do you make? Um, ben Simpson said he's an IRS agent. Make sure you report on all those trades. Here's a company. Sometimes I'll just, here's one of my Stripe accounts for one of my companies. I haven't even checked today. Made $36,000 today. This is not cryptocurrency. This is a mentor box. I spend 10 seconds a day on this business. It's made $953,000 in the last 30 days. So that's one of my smaller companies made 36 G's today. But just let me explain something. I've been doing this for a while. When I started out, if I would have made a hundred bucks in a day, I would have been very excited. 
you know? So. Um, are you using Binance? Yes, I am using Binance. Just because it's moving in a bullish manner doesn't make it a buy. T J C T Cooper. Yeah, that's that's what we were just saying. That's what we were just saying. Someone said XRP Ripple is going to hit 500% growth in two weeks. Guys, the one thing I'm just going to tell you: don't try to predict things far off too much. It's not that easy, man. Just to be clear, okay? You can lose money in this. You can make money and you can lose it. All I can tell you is, the more you learn, the more you earn. That's the one thing I'll stand by. So, uh, yes, I got my 13 cents just sitting there all lonely. <laughs> I need to put in another 90, uh, 87 cents and I'll be good. What we'll go. All right guys, I'm headed out. Uh, if you're, oh, by the way, if you're listening on the podcast, the link is tylobit.com slash Bitcoin podcast. Talk to you soon. All right, cutting. Finish. IG stopped. Hey, um. Oh, one second. Yes. One what? sec. One sec. Where's Lisa? Have her be here.